Hello and welcome dear viewer to a second addendum to my main how to create your conscript video or conscript font creation video. In this video I want to discuss, briefly discuss, how you can more easily input your special private use area characters on Windows in your text processing system like LibreOffice or Microsoft Word or LaTeX or whatever. And the trick to doing this is AutoHotKey. And that's also the reason why it's only Windows because AutoHotKey is a Windows only application. It is a scripting system for automating different tasks. And in this case, we want to automate string replacement. So this simple script when run with AutoHotKey, I will show that in just a minute, allows you to enable a conscript input mode. And in that conscript input mode, you can type your romanization and press space and your romanization will be replaced by your custom characters in a Unicode range that you can type with your normal keyboard. And if you are using your correct font and have set up the code points correctly, your font will display your special characters. So this is essentially the script. All of the logic is just this. It's it's not very much and displays a message whether the conscript mode is currently on or off. And I will put this entire code up on GitHub and you can download it. It will be in the description. But the important part is down here. And this these are all the replacements, romanization to a native character. And these are the ones for my conscript, just to show it off. But um, in the final version, this will all be deleted and you have to put in your own replacements. So the way that this works is that we specify auto hotkey hot strings. So replacement strings, sort of one string gets replaced with another string. Or one character sequence gets replaced with another character sequence for non-programmers. So I want to quickly demonstrate how you can input your own hot string, your own replacement of romanization with native. First, you type two colons. Then you type your romanization. Then you type in two more colons. And then you type in what you want your romanization to be replaced with. Most likely, this will be a Unicode sequence in the private use area, as I discussed, also in the main video. And so you want to put in a special Unicode code point. You can do that by open curly bracket, U, plus, and then your code point name, just like in bird font, we also did that. So I can, for example, type in EFFF, and then is the Unicode code point EFFF, which I think is the end of the uh, first private use area. And of course, then close curly bracket after that here, just my text editor did that automatically. And now whenever I type when I have the script running, whenever I type HKJ and conscript mode is on and press space, it will be replaced by this sequence. And of course, there can be multiple characters back here. For my case, I'm just using one character each. Like you can see, for example, the DE sequence is replaced by this E022 code point. So you can put in all of your code points here, all of your replacements, save that. There are instructions on how to do this without a special editor, but I'm just gonna right click and run the auto hotkey script. And that will make a H symbol appear in my taskbar. You can't see that because my taskbar isn't visible, but I assure you it's there. And now we go over to a text editor, LibreOffice in this case, because for this purpose, it is more handy because Word will do all sorts of things crazy things with font replacement and just not bother, just use LibreOffice or a plain text editor like Visual Studio that I just use or standard notepad or whatever. So you want to select, of course, select your font, your conscript font, and then press Alt 11. And as you can see, conscript input is now enabled. We got that message. That's great. And now type in a romanization. I happen to know that, of course, my conscript has the romanization of a and S. And when I now press space, this combination gets replaced by a special character code that my special font can display. And I happen to know that this is absolutely correct. So it worked. I can, for example, use F O or just E D or E. I'm using two 
consonants here or two characters for the single character romanizations because there might be some interference when you have different romanizations starting with the same character and you have that character itself be a replacement like I have now that might cause an issue in some cases depending on which text editor you use and which hot string settings you use for auto hotkey so I generally recommend using this format to in this case use two D's for sort of the single D character replacement. Now you should of course now test out all of your character combinations and make sure that everything is set up correctly and all of the code points match and so on. But that's essentially it. Now you of course you want to turn off this conscript input mode again. Again press Alt F11 and that will display a second message with the information conscript is now off. One last thing you may want to use this script on a computer that doesn't have auto hotkey installed or some other person just wants to get the script and run it and not install anything additionally. You can do that by compiling the script to an exe. I can directly click here compile script and you can right click on the file in your explorer and compile script and that will create an exe standalone program that will run without auto hotkey being installed and you can just pass that on to whoever wants to use your system. That's essentially all you have to know. You can just use this as a template and of course this will all be removed and I have included a bunch of instructions on how to do all of this inside the file so it should just work I'm using the most recent version of auto hotkey so maybe check that if you're having some trouble. That's it for today. Until next time, goodbye.